I'm Adolfo Shabadu Quinones, and I was a soul train dancer from 1971 until mid 70s, 74. Growing up as a young black boy uh, in Chicago in the project homes and just really being known as a Negro was something that really saddened me most of the time until I heard James Brown say, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. And then Soul Train brought it all home, baby. It was like, all right, we get to be proud and black and strut our stuff and be unapologetically black. Soul Train started in Chicago and uh, my, me and my sister were appeared on the show in Chicago. Of course, when they moved from Chicago to LA, we were broken hearted. Lucky for us, my mom said, hey, you know what? I'm gonna start your lives over. We're gonna move from Chicago to LA Then was there that we met someone named Campbell Locke Jr. in a dance contest at the BSU, the Black Student Union at Fullerton College. I saw him do a dance I had never really seen before. It was like a kind of a circus act. Chicago was about being cool, you know, and, and reserved. And here this guy is diving on the floor, sliding on his chest. We became friends. Later, we became co-founders of the Lockers. Lockers, are, we're a fable dance troupe, a dance troupe that really changed the face of dance forever. The original members of the Lockers, uh, Don Campbellock Campbell, uh, Fluky Luke, uh, Campbellock Jr., Slim the Robot. The guy that most people know as Rerun, we call the Mr. Penguin, Fred Berry. And then myself and Tony Basil, who basically formed the group as a professional troupe. Now I have some personal feelings about uh, Don Cornelius, having dealt with him professionally. Don Cornelius had a great opportunity to really push the lockers ahead. We weren't the lockers at the time, but we, we approached him and we asked him to pay us and he wouldn't pay us. And that kind of broke my heart a little bit. All we're supposed to get is chicken. We got a, you know, a two piece chicken dinner with some bread. And that, you know, at first that was fun. But then when our eyes started opening, we were like, hey, you know, we should get paid. And the way he responded was more disappointing. When we asked to get paid, he kicked us off the show. Having been kicked off the show and then forming, being part of the, the founding member of the Lockers, I did manage to come back as a soloist, something that no one has ever done before. No hit record, just on my dance ability alone. It, it gave me a pretty elaborate introduction. You're one of many who have gone from social dancing or street dancing, if you will, to soul train to professional careers. It's always a pleasure to welcome back one of our own. How about a gang for Shabadu? That particular achievement, I didn't see it for myself. I saw it for all of us. Breaking into the movies was a, a, a long journey. I mean, of course, I was with the Lockers. In about 1977, we disbanded for creative differences. You know, when you're part of a group and you try to start over again, it's pretty hard. Yeah, they knew me as Shabadu from the Lockers, but who was Shabadu by himself? I, I forged ahead. I started really owning that new style that I, I created. Uh, after I built up some street cred in LA, someone approached me and said, hey, you know, they're, they're gonna be doing a new music video with Lionel Richie. And I was like, Lionel Richie? I was like, that dude from Commodore? He's like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. He said, um, you know, they wanna meet you or whatever. So I went and met with the director and I met with uh, Lionel Richie. That led to me choreographing all night long the music video. And I hired, of course, all the people that you see in Breakin. They were in that particular music video, including my, my uh, former wife, Leela Roshan. Soul Train affected and, and changed American culture on so many levels. Fashion, style, music, attitude, everything. The show reshaped American culture because of how they danced, but more importantly, why they dance. We didn't do it because we were trying to get jackets or to get our cool car. We danced for our people. We danced to be recognized, not recognized in terms of stardom, 
to be recognized as a people. Look at me, I'm somebody. I've got something to say.